The funguses are really good. Their job is to turn dead matter back into soil. That's why 10% of the, of the microorganisms in our GI tract are yeast, candida, 10%. They're doing a job. They're taking old dead cells and stuff like that and they're recycling it. Just to give you an example, one of the byproducts of a bacteria in our colon, <clears throat> the bacteria is called Bifidobacter bifidus, is that they produce a short chain fatty acid. This fatty acid is necessary. It's the main fuel source for colon cells. So if you don't have enough of those bacteria, your colon can't thrive, number one. Number two, this fatty acid also stimulates the colon cell to die in, in, in three days, 72 hours, and to make a new one. That's why the lining of our colon, the lining of our intestines, is turned over every three days. We have a new lining. We need to have a new lining because the inside of our, our, our digestive system is very active. It's working all the time. And so these cells need to be replaced. Okay, so this fatty acid produced by the bacteria is very important. Okay, so these bacteria have a, have a very important function. They're doing that. And other bacteria is called acidophilus. They're producing acid. Why are they producing acid? So that the healthy bacteria can live and the pathogenic, the bacteria that would get into us and hurt us, can't live. So they're mutin, they're doing that. And then other bacteria are making, are making what we call vitamin K, which makes our blood clot. If we didn't have these bacteria, we would, we would all bleed to death. And then there are other bacteria that are stimulating our immune system. And they do all these things. So, and that's why we have we have about anywhere from 50, 50 to 100 trillion bacteria inside and on us. And we are all obsessed with being sterile. We want to clean and get rid of all the bacteria. You don't want to get rid of the bacteria. In fact, one of the best things you can do for your immune system is stop washing your hands. Don't clean your food. I mean, if you're eating organic food, of course, shake it off. You can rinse it off, but don't scrub it with some sort of chemical. Right? Our disconnection from the earth, our disconnection from nature, tells us that we have to clean it off. Well, you can't because these bacteria that are in there, in fact, soil-based organisms are found to be really helpful. There was a, um, in World War I, I think it was, the German were tracking the Arabs, right? And the Arabs, and what they noticed is that the German troops would every once in a while, like every, every day or so, one of them would get so sick and get di diarrhea that they couldn't, they couldn't march anymore. They, could, they would lose them. And they noticed this wasn't happening with the Arabs. So they sent some scouts up to follow them. And what they found was that every time an Arab would get, start to get sick, they would take the camel feces, camel dung, and eat it. We later found out that in the dung were these soil-based organisms that killed the pathogenic organisms. So this unhealthy. So here's the Germans scrubbing and cleaning and dying, and the Arabs eating the shit and living. It's very interesting. So that's how we discovered soil-based organisms. That's why they're so important.